Happy New Year, my friends! In today's video, I'll show you how you can create this next level animated funnel infographic in PowerPoint step by step. You'll learn how to design each of these beautiful funnel rings directly in PowerPoint, how to fill them with vibrant colors, and add those little animated dots flying through the funnel. And if you'd like to save some time and buy this animated infographic, check out the first link below the video. Also, this infographic will be added for free to all of my PowerPoint Animation Mastery students as bonus slides to Chapter 8, link is below the video as well. And now my friends, let's jump into the magical world of PowerPoint. Ok my dear friends, let's jump into this empty fresh blank new slide where we can start everything from scratch and first of all let's just fill this slide with a black background. So let's go into the format background and let's make sure that we fill this slide with a solid black color. That's beautiful. And now let me show you how we can design all of these beautiful rings. And we can do that entirely in PowerPoint. And all we need to do is grab the oval tool. So let's go into shapes. Here it is, the oval tool. And now let's just draw an oval that looks like this, like a stretched oval. And now for the height, I'm using 14 centimeters. And for the width, I'm using 5 centimeters. You can, of course, use any numbers that you wish. And now let's change how this circle looks like. Let's go into format shape. And let's add a white fill just like that. And let's use some transparency as well. Let's use 85% of transparency. And as well, let's add a white line. For the line transparency, I'm using 75%. And for the width, 0.75 points. That's looking beautiful. And now this uh, stretch oval is looking like this. That's beautiful. And let's align this guy to the middle and center of the slide. And by the way, if you're using the quick access toolbar, you can just hold down the Alt key and press on the number one or two. You know, depending on what kind of commands you have in your quick access toolbar, you can uh, click on this little arrow over here and go to more commands and you can basically adjust, you know, what kind of commands you have in your quick access toolbar. In my case, Alt 1 and Alt 2 will place, you know, any shape in the middle and center of the slide. And next, let's hold down the Control and Shift keys and let's drag a copy to the left side, just like that. Okay. And now you can basically decide how wide you would like this, you know, shape on the right to be. Let's jump to the first slide. As you can see, you know, these rings have you know, some kind of thickness. So you can basically decide how thick you'd like your rings to be. Let's say like this. And now we can uh, select both of the shapes while holding down the shift key. Now let's go into shape format, merge shapes, and let's choose subtract. And this way we get, you know, this side of the ring just like that. Now, once again, we can drag a copy, you know, to the left side. Now let's just make sure we flip it horizontally and now let's bring it back so that, you know, both of these shapes are perfectly aligned. Let's zoom in a bit and let's make sure that those uh, shapes are perfectly matching each other, just like that. Okay, my friends, the first ring is ready. We can select both of the sides and let's group them into a single group. And let's move this ring to the right side of the slide, pretty much at the same spot where I had it in my first slide, somewhere around here, that's beautiful. And next, my friends, let's duplicate this ring and let's move it to the left side of the slide. And once again, I'm holding down the Control and Shift keys to drag a copy in a straight line. That's good. And now for this ring on the left side, let's make it smaller. Let's make sure that the lock aspect ratio is enabled. And for the height, I'm using 5 centimeters. And now the width gets adjusted automatically. That's beautiful. Let's make sure that we align this guy to the middle of the slide as well. OK, so that both of these rings are pretty much sitting on the same horizontal line. And next, my friends, between these two rings that we have already, let's add three more rings. And to make this task easier, let's draw a couple of lines. So let's grab the line tool and now let's draw a line from this point to this point. And let's draw one more line here at the bottom. OK, and this way it will be much easier to decide, you know, how big those rings in between should be. So once again, we can hold down the control shift keys to drag a copy in a straight line. And as well, we can use the control shift key combination to resize from the center just like that. So let's make sure that all of those rings are touching those blue lines. That's beautiful. And once we're done, let's select all of the rings and let's distribute them horizontally so that we have equal horizontal spaces between all of them. 
and Skadoosh Map Prince, everything is looking well balanced. Now we can delete those two blue lines, we don't need them anymore. And next, let me jump back to my previous slide and let me quickly grab a couple of text boxes that I have inserted previously. We have a logo at the top, we have a logo at the bottom, and a couple of text boxes. I'm sure you know how to insert text boxes. So let's continue with something a bit more interesting. Let me show you how we can design those little lines that all of these little white circles are going to use, you know, to travel through the funnel. So let's go to insert shapes, let's find the line tool and let's hold down the shift key and let's draw a horizontal straight line that goes through the center of the funnel. Once again, I'm using Alt 1 and Alt 2 to align to the center and middle and Alt 4 to open up the format shape. So let's fill this line with white color for the transparency I'm using 75%. And now for the width, you can go with any width you wish, for example, 0 0.75 points, or let's actually go with one point so that, you know, that little line is a bit more visible. And let me actually stretch this line slightly to the right side, just like that. And now let's make a few more copies. Let's make sure that the line is selected. We can hold down the control and shift keys and drag a copy upwards. Let's drag one more copy. Now let's grab these two lines at the top and let's drag two more copies downwards. And now we should have five lines in total. That's beautiful. We can distribute them vertically. Let's group them into a single group and let's align everything to the center and middle of the slide. That's beautiful. Ungroup. And now my friends, so let's make sure that all of these lines end up at the same point. So let me show you how we can achieve that. Let's zoom in a bit and all we have to do is basically grab the left end of the lines and uh, position them at the same spot, you know, where the middle line is. So let's make sure that all of the lines end up at the same point, just like that. That's looking beautiful. Okay, my friends, so the rings and those little lines are ready. We're making a wonderful progress. Let me quickly jump back to my previous slide and let me copy all of these little text boxes that we have above the rings. And let's paste them into our slide as well, just to save some time. You can of course fill these uh, text boxes with any information that you like and in this case it's a customer journey funnel from website visits to product views to add to cards to checkouts and finally orders all right the next we'll have to create those little animated circles and as well we'll have to fill our rings with some colors so i think we can continue with colors first let's uh, duplicate our slide and let me jump back to my first slide and over here, let's grab this pink color. Let's press down Control Shift C to copy the formatting. And now on this slide, let's first of all make sure that all of these rings are ungrouped so that we can select all of those, you know, sides individually. And now let's make sure that we select the left side of this huge ring. And let's uh, press down Control Shift V to paste the same formatting, just like that. And now, my friends, let me show you how this, you know, glowing effect was created. So let's jump into the format shape options. And first of all, this shape is using this uh, solid pink fill. Okay, it has a solid white line with one point. And now let's jump into the shadow options. So it has a pink shadow with a blur of 100 points. And, you know, this blur gives that nice glow effect. And additionally, I'm using the glue effect itself as well, just to add some intensity and the size is five points and transparency 80%. And this way we get this beautiful effect. Now we can copy the formatting from the left side and paste the same formatting to the right side. Let's just make sure for the fill, we drop down the transparency to 75%. And Skadoosh, the first ring is ready. And next, my friends, let me quickly fill the rest of the rings by using the same shortcuts. Control Shift C to copy the style and Control Shift V to paste the style. And I'll just add a bit of transparency to the right side so that it is different, you know, from the left side. And just like that, all of the rings have been filled with beautiful colors. Now let's make sure that we hold down the Shift key and select all of the parts that make up the rings. And let's group everything into one uh, group, just like that. And now let's copy this uh, group of rings and let's paste it into this slide where we have these transparent circles. And at the same time, we don't need slide number three anymore. We can delete it. And on slide number two, let's make sure that we ungroup those color rings. That's beautiful. And now we should basically have those color rings at the top and below those semi-transparent rings. That's beautiful. 
And next, my friends, I think we can continue with those little animated circles that will be traveling through the funnel. So for that, let's insert a little oval. Okay, let's hold down the shift key to draw an oval and let's fill it with white, no outline. And now for the height and width, I'm using 0.4 centimeters. Okay, now let's make sure that this little guy is aligned to this middle horizontal line. And now while holding down the control and shift keys, we can make some copies. But I think actually let's uh, delete those two copies and let's first add all of the animations to this little guy. And only then we can duplicate, you know, all of those circles. This way, I guess it will be more efficient. So let's make sure that we open up the animation pane so that we can see all of the animations. Let's make sure that the little circle is selected. And first, let's add a motion path line animation. Now it goes downwards. Let's make sure it goes left. So let's go to directions. Let's choose left. And let's grab this uh, red dot and let's move it precisely to the same point where all of those lines end. Okay. So let's make sure animation starts with previous animation duration for seconds. And let's jump into the animation options. We have two seconds of smooth start and smooth end. That's beautiful. And let's add the repetition until the end of slide. Let's check it out on the full screen. And as you can see, the animation starts automatically and it is looping. Let's just make sure that the outer parts of the rings are, you know, in the front. This way it will look more realistic. It will look like as if, you know, that little dot is flying through the rings. So let's select the outer parts and let's bring them to front. And additionally, let's add a grow shrink animation to our circle. Let's make sure it starts with previous, the same duration for seconds. And now in the grow shrink animation options, let's make sure that we have smooth start and smooth end of two seconds. And now for the size, let's use 25%, which will basically shrink our little circle. Okay. And now in the timing tab, let's make sure that repetition until the end of slide is enabled. And that should look very nice. <laughs> okay. So now my friends, let's check it out on the full screen. And as you can see now that a little circle is traveling to the left side and it is shrinking at the same time. And this way we get this beautiful effect. And now we just have to duplicate this circle four more times and we'll have to adjust the motion path lines so that all of those, you know, little circles travel to the same spot. So let me quickly copy and duplicate all of these uh, circles and let me adjust those motion paths. And as before, let's make sure that we select all of the outer parts of the rings and let's bring them to front so that the animation looks correct. All of those little circles should be flying through all of these beautiful rings. Skadoosh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And next, my friends, as you remember, we have those semi-transparent rings below these colorful rings. And because of that, we can create a cool entrance animation. Let me show you how. Let's select these two pink parts uh, first and let's add a fade animation to these two guys. Let's make sure the fade animation starts with previous. And now let's add a bit of delay to these two fade animations. Let's try using one second and let's give it a preview. And now the whole idea is that each of the rings should light up as soon as, you know, those little circles fly through them. So I think for the first ring, one second delay looks good. And now we can basically use the animation painter and paste the same fade animation to this red ring. And now for the red ring fade animations, we'll have to add a bit more delay. Okay, so I think for these two guys, Let's just drag them to the right side a bit, just like that. And let's check it out once again. And I think it's looking pretty good. So let me quickly finish adding those fade animations to the rest of the rings. And let me add animation delays as well so that we can check out the final result. Okay, so I've added all of the fade animations and added all of the animation delays. And now as soon as those little circles move through the rings, they light up. And after that, those little circles keep on flying because we've set them to repeat until the end of slide. And by the way, my friends, I've skipped one more thing. In my original slide, I had these fuzzy, huge uh, circles. Let me copy them and let me paste them into our slide as well. Let's just move them to the back. And by the way, it's really easy to create these kind of background elements. All you have to do is use a semi-transparent fill. In this case, I'm using a fill with 70% transparency. And next, make sure that you're using soft edges. I'm just going with maximum soft edges. 
Now it looks like this without soft edges and this is how it looks like with soft edges. And uh, this way you get those beautiful fuzzy circles that you can use to make your slide background a bit more interesting. And this is the final result, my friends. Now you know how you can create this beautiful funnel infographic in PowerPoint. And as I've mentioned before, if you'd like to save some time and start using this animated infographic right away, you can buy it. Link is in the video description. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm sure you'll love this video next as well, where you can learn how you can create this modern next level diagram with animated neon lines in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching my friends, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in that video. Peace.